Is this the tiger? What up, JP Nation? It's your boy, JP. If you would tune in, subscriber, welcome back to my channel. If you're a new subscriber, welcome to my channel where we do basketball reaction videos and other basketball content. If you love the game of basketball like I do, make sure you subscribe to this JP down below and click the notification bell. You know where our next upload is on the world of 40K. Thank you all so much for tuning in. Today, we're going to be reacting to another Larry Bird story, the best Larry Bird. Welcome to the league story ever told. The thumbnail with Sean Kemp, I bet you it's probably going to be talking about when Sean Kemp first came into the league, uh, Larry Bird uh, took it personal because he was asking Sean Kemp if he was the dude that broke all his records in Indiana because Larry Bird had records in Indiana High School um, and Sean Kemp coming from Indiana broke all them records and everybody was hyping this kid up that he was going to be the next big thing and Larry Bird just took it personally and just gave him buckets, gave him buckets. Sean Kemp told the story on Knuckleheads podcast too as well. So maybe that story and then hopefully they go in depth with it though. So let's go in again to this video. I'm very excited. It's another Larry Bird series that I'm doing. Love Larry Bird stories and I know y'all do too as well. And just enjoying, you know, the laughter and just the trash talk and just the confidence that he had, the skill set that he had. So let's go and get into the video. Rack up the likes too as well. Let me know what you want me to react to next. Without further ado, Let's get into the video. In the 2018 NBA Draft, the Orlando Magic selected Mo Bamba with the number six overall pick. This highly touted seven foot tall NBA prospect was number two in the nation in block shots in college and had the longest wingspan ever recorded at an NBA combine at mm. seven foot ten inches Dang. long. Wow. But in an off season pickup game versus a veteran MVP center, Joel Embiid, Mo Bamba would get his first taste of what the NBA was truly like. And <laughs> Embiid. Ouch. But don't feel too badly for Mo Bamba because every single rookie who's made it to the NBA all have their very own story. Yes, they have been dominated and trash talked by an NBA veteran. And I love the Knuckleheads podcast. Shout out to Darius Miles and Quentin Richardson. When they bring basketball guests on, like the first question they always ask is when you came into the league, who is the first person to bust your ass? Like they ask Kobe, they ask Steph Curry, they ask um, Tracy McGrady, they ask. You know, Vince Carter, um, Dominique Wilkins, James Worthy, um, just a plethora of players uh, about who bust their ass and they would be given their honest opinion. Even Kyrie, we, you know, like it'd be like players that you're like, OK, I understand, you know, you know why. And then there'd be players that you don't really you'd be like, damn, they actually good. Like, you know, Jose Cotterwan was for Kyrie. Jose Cotterwan was giving Kyrie problems. And then every time Kyrie sees Jose Cotterwan, he gives him problems. But, um, you know, it, it's just awesome to hear those stories just to, like, see what they wore in the league and all that, you know. So definitely shout out to Darius Miles and Quentin Richardson. And it just so happens that Larry Bird, the undisputed greatest trash talker of all time. <laughs> the it champion. The rookies that one moment they'll never forget that made him say. Boy, he made rookies. Uh, he made it hell for rookies. <laughs> I remember playing against Larry Bird my second game of my career, and he just worked me over, man. Like, I went out for the jump ball, and I'm scared to death already. <laughs> and he just stands next to me, and he leans over, and he looks at me. He said, do you honestly think you're going to guard me? Well, I <laughs> curse that. I'm like, what? And the veterans on my team said, Eddie, just don't pay attention to him. <laughs> then he stands up and he looks over at our bench and he looks at Kyle. You all think this rookie going to guard <laughs> me? Man, I'm going to bust you up just right in my ear. And so by that time, all the guys on the floor is just cracking up, even my teammates. <laughs> so I'm like, would well, this official please throw this ball up? <laughs> well, then finally, he walks around, stands in front of me, so I'm going to tell you something right now. I'm going to wear your ass out. Game starts, and he's just wearing me out. <laughs> okay? And in the fourth quarter he was in, it was late. Game was kind of 
of clothes. And he came down, he said, I bet you can't do this. And he raises up from Steph Curry range. And he shoots an air ball. And I look at him, he like, that don't matter. It's the fact that I can do it and stay in the game. I bet you can't. <laughs> 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 I'm like, okay. <laughs> I mean, Larry Bird basically taught me how to trash talk. If the NBA had a trash talking trophy, it would most certainly be trophy. after Larry Bird <laughs> because he could be loud and in your face like he did against Eddie Johnson, or he could be soft spoken and relaxed and tell you exactly what he was going to do to you as if it were a matter of fact. I just had my name on it for a week now. I knew I was going to win this thing. Bird was the only one that really, we talk about guys talking trash. Yeah. Hey, Rook, good to see you. Hey, big college career. I'm going to catch the ball. I'm going to pump fake. You're going to reach for it. You're going to get fouled. Two tweets, you're going to have a seat. Lord, the whole day, and he catches the ball. He pump fakes. I go for it. I reach. First foul. A few years ago, I'm sure. I come down court. Scott Scott picks me the ball. I shoot a three. In your face, Larry Legend. Yes, yes, I'm feeling good, man. He catches the ball again. Catches it. My dumb stuff reaches for it again. But again, the bird. Three tweet. Go have a seat. I see second quarter, Rook. <laughs> That's how Larry Bird. <laughs> Loves the rookies. What was your welcome to the NBA moment? You remember? Bird never said anything? <laughs> yeah, I remember as a rookie, he came in, <laughs> he walked by our bench at the Salt Palace and said, I feel like 43 tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and he came out, he scored 43 in the third quarter and checked, checked himself out with a 20 point victory. And I went, wow, welcome to the big time. <laughs> Don't say Larry Bird don't play defense. Larry he did. He did. So many ways. Who is uh, the best crap talker of all time? Larry Bird. You reckon? Larry Bird was the best of all time. He and Michael Jordan. But they can back it up. Crap talk is only good if you can back it up. Yeah. If God talks crap, if you talk crap, oh, I'm going to score on you, Kenny. I'll be like, so what? He can. He can. Kenny, I score on you so fast, bro. Yeah. I got skills, man. Doesn't even bother. <laughs> doesn't even bother. But by far, Larry Bird's greatest welcome to the league story was payback from a personal vendetta that all started where he grew oh, up yes. back home in Indiana. Thank you. Speaking of expectations, how would you like to be a basketball player and your big brother's Larry Bird? Here's a story about the other one in the nest. Not too many people know this, but Larry Bird had a younger brother who was also good at basketball. His name was Eddie Bird, and although he was not as good as his big brother, he actually broke Larry's career high school scoring record oh, nice. of 1,125 points by scoring a total of 1,172 okay. points. And just like his big brother, Eddie went on to play college basketball at Indiana, Indiana State, State, but not before Larry Bird gave him a little dose of reality. High school ball is like the lowest grade, and if he was a good player then, uh, in high school, it don't necessarily mean you're going to be a great player in college. And uh, I think that with his work ethic, he's got a lot to learn, and he's going to find out the hard way. Eddie Bird played four years at Indiana State and finished in the school's top ten in scoring, top ten in three-pointers made, and first in free throw percentage. Okay, well, Eddie. never made an NBA roster. Damn. However, coincidentally enough, Eddie Bird's high school basketball career overlapped with the future NBA All-Star, Sean Kemp, who also played high school basketball in Indiana. And after breaking both Larry and Eddie Bird's career high school scoring records, Sean Kemp recalls playing against Eddie Bird and getting the best of him. But unfortunately for Sean, big brother Larry Bird didn't forget. <laughs> and when Sean Kemp became a rookie in the NBA, and finally faced Larry Bird for the first time, 
Larry Bird got his payback and gave Sean Kemp a welcome to the league moment that he'll never forget. <laughs> I want to keep this real with y'all, man. My ass got busted real early, man. I came into the league, man. I was playing. <laughs> Youngest player in the NBA. Mm -hmm. This 6'10 forward is only Very athletic. Old. Um, you know, you know how some of the vets, man, they play you to the team, man. I got played down in Boston one night. We was playing uh, Boston Celtics. So the great Larry Bird, I didn't really know much about You know, I'm from Indiana, Larry's from Indiana. I knew about the history of Larry, but I didn't realize how he really got down. When we got to Boston that morning, I go to the game on the early bus. I get there. They come out on the court. They say, hey, Sean, uh, you starting the night against Larry. And I was like, what the hell? Okay. <laughs> I'm all for it, though. You know? <laughs> so, um, well, first of all, he asked me to jump ball. He said, you can't throw all my records in high school, right? And I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> you're the one that used to jump my brother, too, right? Now, Eddie. And I was like, yeah, that's me. He said, I got you. And here is Larry Bird, Indiana State, 6'9", 220. Trying to search out a style of play. Bird will take the first shot. A spot, no call. Larry on a wing. Does oh, he really help create? Kevin, the quick double. Finds Dennis Johnson in and out. Bird is there. Mm. Well, my point to you is this: uh, Larry gave me fifty in three quarters. Damn! Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Larry got three. Knockdown. The IQ. Nineteen first half points for Bird. Bird sneaking up the floor, squares up. Oh my God! <laughs> back today. He sure does. 21 now, 9 points Celtic lead. Bird wants the ball on Ellis, gets it. Follow it. Mm. Yeah, 23, Ellis is not going to... And he talked to me the whole entire game. He what did he say? He do. So every shot he was calling, at the defensive end, he would tell me, he'd be like, when I get down to the other end, I'm going to pump face you, get a hand one on you. Look at you. <laughs> Pull off the glass. That's how cold Larry Bird was. Bird flashing through. Tough shot. Knocks it down. Damn. Oh, right. They were right on his shooting hand that time. Tail there. Long outlook to Bird. McMillan won't catch it. Good look by Kevin McHale. And Bird at the top of the defense just headed up court. Celtics have forced more turnovers tonight than any other game this year. Mm. Bird is now at 34 in counting. Being from the streets, man, I was to the point of like, look, I'm going to foul him so hard that he's going to, he's basically going to take his will. He started shooting the ball with his left hand, man. I, I was trying to foul foul his right arm. He was shooting with his left hand, banking it off on me, looking at me, still slapping me on my butt and everything. Man, tell me everything. <laughs> <laughs> Little runner. Oh. Off the glass. oh boy. Haven't seen one of those in the left hand. Bird on the 20 year old Kemp. Takes a follow away. He's got 40. Bird Damn. And then Larry, uh, he actually invited me to his house that summer after the game, man. He told me, he said, uh, you know, you come to the house Larry. and sit around with me. There's something I'll show you how to shoot the ball, young know, fella. So. Larry Legend. Straight up. <laughs> Celtics now three on three the other way. Bird wants it. Got it. A top shot. Bird gets it back for three. Oh. Bird open. Hits on the baseline. Of course, Larry Bird trash talk was put a lot of things in my ear. That's what he was supposed to do. <laughs> Here you have this young kid coming out trying to be the next best thing out of Indiana. He did exactly what he was supposed to do. He, he trash talked me to death. He told me exactly what he was going to do to me before the game started. Then he went out and he did exactly what he told me he was going to do, which was a true introduction to the NBA.
Oh man, great video by Prime Lady Bud. Um, yeah, <laughs> Sean Kemp. <laughs> hey, Sean Kemp had a, a nice career right there, you know, one of the best players in the 90s. But uh, yeah, Lady Bud, you know, he loves them rookies so much. He did a Clyde Drexel. He was just like, tell, he was just telling them, like, you know, you ain't gonna stop me. And Clyde Drexel was like, man, you're so confident. He said, confident. And Lady Bud was like, confident? Man, dude, you're a rookie. You don't have, the, you have no confidence and proceeded just to score buckets on buckets and buckets. And Clyde sat down and Lay started laughing, just running up to the court. Um, man, he just loved hazing them rookies, man. He just loved, like, giving rookie problems just so they, they can scale, uh, scale them rookies in the, uh, when they come into the NBA. So that was a funny Sean Kemp story, though. And then I, I didn't know about him having a brother, Eddie uh, Bud. And just seeing that he was a good player and just didn't make an NBA roster, unfortunately. So, um, but um, yeah, but yeah, that was that was a great Larry Bird video. Uh, let me know in the comments below and uh, let me know what you want me to react to next. Make sure you subscribe to this show, JP, for more basketball reaction videos and other basketball content. Click the notification bell. You know where our next upload is on the World of 40K. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm JP, and we out of here. Peace.